Oh, it's happening? It's happening. Wait. Wait. Feels like a mom and her child just getting ready to go to the park for a day. This is Iconic Eats. We are here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. I brought a friend today. I don't know. We're going to eat our way through a park. I'm happy to have someone to help me out. We're probably going to destroy Chelsea in the process. It's just kind of the game plan for today. Did you just audibly groan? <laughs> have asterisks audibly groaned. We're only referring to Chelsea today as thing three, so. Oh, God. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we walking? I don't know. Okay. Just this way. Just this way. It's fine. First stop of the day is the Croissant Moon Bakery. We're starting with a veggie press, which is 100% like a vegan option. Even the jalapeno cheese that's up top here, that's an insignificant thing to show you. is entirely vegan. I want to follow all your rules. I don't have a hand. Oh, okay. That's cute. Okay, Betty press time. One. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm much messier than you are. You'll find that to be untrue. Okay. Look at this like rainbow of fibrous veg. We have that jalapeno cheese, or vegan cheese. We have some roasted peppers. We have some mushrooms. Looks like zucchini, carrots, maybe. More cheese, cranberry bread. Cranberry bread. Not too exciting. Like Thanksgiving. So as much as I'd love to conquer this veggie press, we do have Same. many desserts to eat at this bakery. <laughs> I don't know sandwich is kiss. Let's do it again. I don't, I don't. This feels like at, at one time like awkward and also sensual. I, it's, it's like forcing like your babies to hug each other or something. I'd like to clarify that we sit at desks about 15 feet apart. So this can't be weird when we get back to the office. We have to make this as normal as possible. Yeah, okay. So just uh, a little uh, sandwich kiss and we're done. Okay. Great, okay. It's beautiful. Look how thick and fluffy. So thick and fluffy. Got some sort of chocolate layering and some sort of, I assume, peanut butter mousse. Oh, we didn't do it at the same time. Oh, I don't care anymore. Wait, I want to do it again so I can clear my spoon so you can all see it. There's chocolate all on my teeth. Mm. This is fantastic. It tastes like it'd be melted down a million Reese's cups mm. and then refroze it into a diamond shape. What's this bottom part? Yeah, tell me what that crust is at the bottom there. Oh, it's chewy. Chewy? I'll take some chew. It's like, um, what's like, um, what is that? Like a black and white cookie thing? Oh, no, it's gonna break. I would eat this if this came in some sort of soup form. If it were slightly <laughs> colder. Ew. Like by the spoonful. You said a soup? Yeah, if this were like a peanut butter soup. This is a chocolate mocha pyramid. I am tempted to just like kind of knock I wanna it. knock it over, like a cat. Do the honors, please. You're my Which guess. way, this way? Toward towards, camera. Towards thing three? Yeah, that's what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that same molten shell that we just had on that uh, little rhombus. Ooh, love some mocha. Mm -hmm. Love a little bit of chew in my dessert. I got stuck on my tooth. Take your time. I feel at ease, I feel at home. Could just be because we're in Florida. Tessa's fun facts, Julia's from Florida. She doesn't tell you that a lot, but she really is. I left as soon as I was born. I came out of the womb and left. Should we end the episode now? Never had a bomb me before. I've actually never had a bomb me before, though it okay. is all ingredients of things that I typically love. So it's just rainbow color. That pork belly, though. I have like a. Oh, good. Just rest assured, if you ever had a bug on your face, I would also tell you. Look at. <laughs> oh no. I really like the cilantro. It's like a mountain of it with it. And it's really spicy. It's that spicy, like not spicy mayo. Sriracha with the with the cilantro. That is really lovely. Mm. It breaks up all the dessert we just had. It really does. You know I love a good slaw. Anything thinly shaved, especially in the realm of like a root vegetable, extremely my jam. And I love like super fat pork belly and super crisp cucumber. There we go. The there it is. That makes sense. There she is. I was is. like, oh, it's, it's spicy. That makes sense. The heat doesn't bother me because you got a buttload of bread to go with it. This is fantastic. I feel like I got a little too close. You quivered. Lemon. We have some sweet and sour ribs. I'm told this is a super popular offering. Okay. And frankly, it looks delicious. We've got some black and white sesame crusting, some little, some little chivy garnish up top. Should I dip in the polenta? Is that a weird thing to do? I don't think so. I'm down with it. Okay. Maybe it is a weird thing to do. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ew, Julia, get your 
<laughs> I've never felt grosser than sitting next to you. <laughs> you were so ladylike and cute, and then this. This is like a hefty rib. <laughs> like you are like getting a lot for your money here. I don't know again that I would dip the rib in the polenta. That the rib in and of itself is something I would eat for hours. <laughs> I would. I was gonna say go to town on these ribs, but that's a little bit weird. I've um, been licking my fingers while watching her review the food, which I've realized <laughs> is just really gross to do. We should keep at this. Okay. I'm down. But also we should drink. I'm really excited. We have alcohol now. Julia started drinking without me, which I find incredibly rude, but... I was really thirsty, I can't lie. I needed hydration. Normally when I have a super sweet amusement park drink, I think Jolly Rancher. Yep. I'm getting Airhead vibes this time. Ooh. Yeah? Like the mystery flavor mm -hmm. with a little bit of lemonade. My favorite flavor. You can't taste the alcohol. Tess and Julia approves. Oh, thing three is not going to be happy with us Oh, soon. no she's not. <laughs> Do you know what my mom used to say to either myself or my brother? I'm not proud of either one of your behaviors. <laughs> you can take that for the day. Can these goes margarita time? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> you took a big sip. Yeah, I did. Do you usually Ooh. drink this much when you do these? Or are you just doing this because it feels special? I don't remember. Truthfully, I black out everything. All the episodes, I don't remember. A single one. That's a joke. Oh, this one feels stronger. It does feel stronger. I'm getting a lot more tequila. A lot more like margarita mix and sour. Which is nice because that was really sweet. It's like a pucker, one of those sour candies. I think you taste it right here. Yeah, it reminds me almost of like a green and yellow Sour Patch Kid, but extreme Sour Patch Kid. Mm. Kind of. It could be through some more heads in the mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. I think it's like 11 a.m. A limeade or lemonade, you said? 11 a.m. Oh, 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pee so hard. Ooh, this seems like it would cool me down. Yeah. Mmm. These are avocado egg rolls, by the way, from the backwater bar. Are you gonna dip it in the thingy? I am. I'm just getting rid of my little garnish. Oh, here, I got you. Thank you so much. There you go. Two more. That's what friendship looks like. Oh, no, I broke mine. Oh. No. I mean, I thought, as well as ribs, you were also kind of an egg roll expert. I've had a few. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. They're creamy, but they have a little bit, maybe it's the sauce. It's a little, it has a little bit of a spicy zing. It looks like, like a tzatziki almost. yogurt -y. I feel that. Oh, it's the peppers in there, too. Oh, there are peppers? Right? Is that red peppers? No? Oh, God, oh. I'm going to die today. Hmm. I feel like you can go through your first iconic eats right of passage. What is the right of passage? Where you eat something that's too big to put in your mouth in one gulp. Okay. But you make direct eye contact with a passerby as they uh, oh as they walk at their like, leisure. You actually do that? Yeah. It wasn't intentional at first, but now I enjoy it very I much. I kind of want to do that. Okay. Yeah. Are you doing it with me? Obviously. Okay. cheesy this burger is and there's some sort of like ranch adjacent mm -hmm. sauce right oh. mm. 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 I don't even care that we're sweaty and our hair is up this is so worth it people get really excited about wimpies because it's open seasonally like if you go online you look for wimpies everyone's like oh I didn't get to go this year whatever we did though the layers of this burger are as follows bun cheese burger Lettuce, onion, pickle, tomato, bun. <laughs> See the sweat dripping down the side of her face as she snorted while inhaling a burger? That was so hot. I can't. I can't even. Thank you. I need to sit down. Okay. okay. I'll allow it. Thank you. Oh. I'll allow it. Oh. My lady. There's ranch on my knee. I was gonna be like, you want me to lick it, but I'm not going to. Remember, we have to go back to work and pretend like this never happened. <laughs>
about is that I look really pretty. <laughs> We're at Thunder Falls Terrace. <laughs> this is the rice bowl, which is a vegetarian offering. We've had so much, so much vegetables, so much vegetables. I don't understand so vegetables. how this is supposed to be a fruit or a vegetable. So to it look at like it, meat. you would think it was pulled pork. Yes. But it is jackfruit. Have you ever had jackfruit before? I think like once. I said that so condescendingly, like I'm a jackfruit connoisseur. Yeah, I've, like, I've, I've never had so jackfruit. much of it. You're about to be like, this is how it's prepared. Yeah, not a clue. Okay, how's the jackfruit? Okay, I do taste a little bit of like fruitiness at the end of the note. Mm -hmm. of the it's sweet. It tastes like cumin to me. I, I feel that. Should we try it with the other things? Okay. Do you mix your stuff together or do you like to have everything like church and state? Okay, one fun fact. Okay. I'm stealing your fun facts today. That's fine. One of the first articles I ever wrote at Delish, I have a real job where I sit at a desk and I write things. That's not true. <laughs> is, was she about, only lives in Florida. <laughs> she has never been to That's true. I work remote. Um, again, a joke. Was about how I don't like any of the food on my plate touching. People hated you. People That's hated me. Right. Do you know how many angry emails I got about that? It was like fine. as if you were doing it to them. That's how it felt. But it prepared me for life in the spotlight. Well adjusted for it. This tastes so much better with the beans yeah? and the cheese. Okay, let's try it. That then it, it tastes more like meat okay. when you mix it together. This yeah, nothing about this tastes super sweet to me. No, it no. just tastes like a savory offering. It tastes like a lip smackers I used to eat as a child. Mm. I know exactly what lip smackers you're talking about. Do you know which, I don't know what flavor of lip smacker it was that I would be like, yeah. Like almost root beer. Huh? Where are you drinking from that tastes like root beer? It's the rum. It's pina colada. <laughs> Not root beer. There's <laughs> nothing in here that tastes like root beer. I'm just looking at you, like I'm done, so you tell me. Okay. I taste lip smackers chapstick in a good way. Anyway, it is beautiful. I'm getting like passion fruit to the base, passion fruit. Passion, guava, lime. <laughs> I feel like I like Jurassic Park the most so far right now. I feel happier right. here. Oh, good. Feels like you fit right in. Yeah, with the dinosaurs. <laughs> I don't feel like that was a compliment the way you said it. Ancient. Um, no. <laughs> this is delicious. This tastes much fruitier to me. Oh. More sweet fruit, less tropical fruit. Yeah. Yeah. I I might like this one more because it tastes. This sounds so juicy to say, but delicate, more delicate on the on the palate. And, and you are delicate, like you're like delicate flower. Yeah, I could fall over any moment. I too am a delicate flower. If you didn't know to look at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're both so delicate and We're so, so fragile. Delicate. Just the that. cutest, sweetest people you ever meet. <laughs> no I've part heard of this of, is funny. I've heard of this. the day. I've heard of these. Okay. Do you want me to help in any way? No. Okay. Thank you. So what's your method to the madness of this? This is now your what, six turkey leg? How many? all the same. It's, I've just been eating from one giant turkey leg the whole time and you never knew it behind the scenes. <laughs> okay. Just the smell of this what? invokes such a sense of dread. That meaty, it meaty smells smell. Nice. I, I really don't think it, yeah, it smells like Christmas ham. <laughs> <laughs> Chewing. <laughs> I can't bite into it. Oh, there Did you just try? I tried. Oh. Can you raise it a little bit higher for me? I'll do a clean way. No, no, I'm not that tall. I'm tall, but <laughs> not like. Is that your favorite thing you've eaten all day? I'm gonna fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna forget this moment. Thank you. Thank you so much. She's just like quitting on us now. We're playing a game. This was not my idea. <laughs> Which would you say is the kindest dinosaur? Thank and you so much. The little one? Oh, what goes with my shirt? Green? Nothing. 
having this. I want something. I don't want to stand up. InGen is now proud to present the Mongo Lionesses. So keep your eyes nice and well for me. She's gonna... <laughs> I don't trust it. Oh, it's like the pheromones. No, no, no. So I know we spent a whole minute in The Wizarding World, which actually is one of my favorite episodes. I know it's one of yours too. Do you think that I'm the bravest person you ever met? Yes. I think so too. But we couldn't not stop in while we were doing Islands of Adventure, so. And I've never been here. Oh, that too. It tastes like caramel and butterscotch and cream and marshmallow and all the things butterbeer. You know what it tastes like. She just doesn't know that. Wow. <sighs> Okay. I was like, I don't want a straw. I'm different. I want a straw. There's no alcohol in here? There's nothing to be done for her. She's too far gone. A dementor, probably. It looks like olive oil or a shampoo or... Yeah, it's funny you say that because the Love Potion had a shampoo-like consistency, but we decided today, all the things to buy at Honeydukes, we'd go with Liquid Look. So you've never had this one? I've never had this one, but I felt like we could we could use it. I see the faint outline of a butterbeer mustache on your top Can lip, you? which again, thing three would never tell you. Ready? Uh, wait. Oh, it's ginger. I'm trying it. rosemary. I don't know how to put it to my mouth. Like, oh, ginger, sure. Ginger? No? Like a cough drop you want to eat. I was gonna like attack it from the front and like try and like bite hard and okay. see if I could pull chicken off. Usually the stick comes back at me. I mean, to each your own. Well, your stick is poking out already, so. I know, that's why. That's I'm... what she said again. Okay. I needed this so hard. This chicken is so juicy. Mmm. Juicy chicken. Oh my god. You're making that. Oh, Julia. <laughs> She sat so close to that guy. Not sitting here. So uncomfortable. Also, there's sauce on her face. So I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> so we went here to Mythos, which people love Mythos. It feels like very culty, like the culture of Mythos. But there's a newish item on the menu called a fork, knife, and spoon which is essentially grilled cheese and tomato soup. Whereas last time our pork belly is falling apart, this one's been like fried or something. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. I want this on every winter's day for the rest of my life. We are in Florida and it's very hot outside, but <laughs> I want to bring this back to New York with me. Cheesy, creamy, salty, porky, slightly sweet. Anything with this like level of creamy tomato sauce can be a little sweet too. That's true. But now, in a way that if you're eating so much salt, you never mind it. Wow. Okay, this is spanakopita dip. For those who don't know what spanakopita is, it's uh, spinach and cheese pie, Greek. That was a really eloquent way of putting it. <laughs> yeah. That's Did that turn you on? No. <laughs> Are you upset that that didn't turn you on? I don't know what she's into. Okay, anyway, this is fun because not only do you get the spinach and the cheese, obviously, but you get like tomatoes, olives, and something else that I don't know. Can you taste it? Did you taste it yet? I haven't tasted it yet. I'm waiting for you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I feel so happy with all the salt happening in my life right now. I really, truly like it. It tastes like a glassy spinach and artichoke dip. That's a great like way to Classy it. people who come to classy theme parks. Mm hmm. Well them. That's us. Do you ever think about how we got here? To this park or in life? Both. Often. I don't understand what we're doing anymore. Where we belong. We've come home. Is it Seuss Land or Seuss Land? Uh, Ooh, an interesting question. 
Maryland. Like Maryland, Maryland. Nobody says Maryland. <laughs> Classic vanilla cupcake. Straight vanilla frosting. Yellow white chocolate. She has nothing to contribute anymore. I love this. I want to eat the whole mustache. bubblegum flavor. A fruity bubblegum. Very fruity. It's like falling off my teeth as I eat it. <laughs> like if you gave a fruit by the foot, like 10 seconds yeah. in the microwave, like quick hit, then kind of bunched it all up and put a chocolate thing, one thing on top. Is this cannibalism? <laughs> oh, a great question. You're getting real philosophical as we go further. I know. Okay, bye. Do you want to take a look of it? <laughs> There's sprinkles in my, all my crevices. This is nice. Rainbow sprinkles, lots and lots, fully coated. I love that. There's like no gap in the sprinklage here. Super thick chocolate shell, which is so sweet and also literally melts in your mouth the second the second you get it in there. It's perfectly and then, crunchy too. Yeah, perfectly crunchy. But it comes to you like way frozen, which as we've discussed in previous videos, ice cream is typically frozen. It's time for a ride. I knew it. Is it a high thrill one at least? You're getting predictable, you know that? Yeah. So I feel like you're rubbing it in my face how tall you are. Oh, no. Hershey Rod, a wonderful oh, adventure where you won't stay dry. Come on in and buckle up tight. Stay in your seat and enjoy your fish flight. Oh, it's warm. It's wet. I don't like that the seatbelt is wet. The seatbelt? Do you think a child peed upward? <laughs> Should I have tightened the seatbelt more? Oh no. I hate this. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Can we go down? Please remain seated until you're swimming. No one is as wet as we are. On your feet. Oh my god. Rolled right off that fish mm. extravaganza. The green eggs and ham cafe. That's a pretty bite. I think it's like a pesto egg, a white tart cheese, an itty bitty ham thing, and tots. I'm gonna say I really like that there's pizza with a ham in here for each little bite. So you get a perfect little. This is a good, like, soft crunch, soft crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just eat it. Okay. We're so close. I don't... It looks like something out of the 1950s. A little bit. Okay. 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 Oh! Look at that chunky ham. Real chunky Ch ham. Chunk of ham. Real, 
real thick bite. I was getting a little distracted by the scallions or whatever. But yes, I taste corned beef now. I taste that same white cream sauce. And little onion bites. How many potatoes do you think we ate today? Two. Well, individually or together? Together. Well, if I said two, I should say four. Four, I'm gonna say five. I'm like wet and sticky and sweaty. The armpits are wet. The whole point is to feel your self-esteem drain from your body on the very last shot. This frosting's still in my hand. Oh, that's rude.